Hello everyone, Elspeth here, and today we are going to do a quick tips and tricks video for Rising World. Today's video is going to be looking at how to put a plugin into your game. Uh, for those of you who aren't familiar with the term plugin, it would also be a mod for your game. Now we're going to go to the Rising World website, go to the forums, and then down here under plugin API, go to plugins. Now what you are looking at here are the different plugins that people have shared. Now I already have all of these installed so we're not really going to be going through the complete process but we're going to act like we are. Um, let's start with the cooking timer plugin. Now a lot of people generally think that the plugins for Rising World are things for servers. That's not always the case. There are some that really work best on a server, but there are others that can be used on single player games as well. And the cooking timer plugin is one of them. So click on the plugin you want. You always want to go to page one. And it takes me past there because it's taking me to the newest conversation. And this is going to be where the author has actually placed the plugin itself. This one is a little different than some of the others because the author has placed this one on GitHub. So we have a link here. So I'm going to right click and open it in a new tab. I always prefer to open my links in new tabs. That's just me. All right, so here we are. And it looks like, ooh, he's made some changes. So we are going to download this one. Okay. So what you want is the zip file, cooking timer 0.3.2 zip. Click on that and it's going to download. Now you can click directly on the download. However, I will normally go to my downloads folder and we're going to delete the other stuff in there. I will right click and extract all here, which just extracts everything in place and then I just refresh it. Now I'm going to select those, right click and cut. Now to get to your Rising World plugins folder, you need to know where your Rising World folder is. I have my blueprints folder pinned to my quick access bar because I'm in it a lot. What this means is I can go into my blueprints folder and then go back to my primary Rising World folder. Now I have a folder here called plugins which is where the plugins are going to go. The first time that you download a plugin, you may not see this folder. That's okay. All you have to do is right click, create a new folder, name it plugins. That's all it is. Now I'm going to go into my plugins folder. I'm going to go into my cooking timer folder. I'm going to delete the old file. Then I'm going to right click and I'm going to paste in the new file. I have now installed a plugin in Rising World. It really is as simple as that. Now, if you want some other plugins, and we'll look at one that's a little bit more, I guess, traditional format. Let's go to the Animal Breed Master plugin, a very popular plugin. And here we are on the first page. We're going to go down and look for what the author tells you is the latest release, which is version 0.71. You download that. It's exactly like we did before, except now you're downloading the zip file directly from the forum, not from GitHub. It'll be the same process. You go into your downloads folder. You'll unzip it take it out of your downloads folder. And I always use cut because it will actually completely remove it because I don't want to make a copy. I literally want to move the program. So you'll unzip, you'll cut, and then go back into your Rising World plugins folder and paste it in. Now, sometimes when you actually get into the game, it's going to need you to actually use the console command to enable plugins. 
And that's, I think that's all it is, is just enable plugins. I've never had to do that. All of my plugins have loaded immediately without a problem. Now, if you're having problems with a plugin, go back to the forum, go to the page for whatever plugin it is that you're having trouble with, and post a comment asking the author how to fix it. Now, when you do this, please give them details about what's wrong. Not just help, this plugin doesn't work. That, that doesn't tell them anything, they're not gonna be able to help you. You need to tell them what you were trying to do, what it did, what went wrong, what happened, be detailed. And the community will help you. Now, the other thing is that you do want to actually read the description for the plugins. Some of these, I can tell just by the name that it's not going to be helpful for me. Like this one, server tools. I don't need that. I don't run a server. I'm in a single player world. So that plugin doesn't do me any good. I, it probably wouldn't even be usable for me anyway, depending on what tools he made for the, his server. So you're going to want to actually read through them. Take a look at what the plugin is. Most of the time you're going to be able to tell right away if it's something that you actually need. If it's talking about uh, area protection script or if it has the word server in it, if you are on a single player world, then you don't need that because those are just for people operating servers. If you're looking at a plugin that seems cool, but you're not entirely certain if it works on a single player world, just ask the author. They'll be happy to tell you whether or not the plugin they made will work with your world. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is plugins for Rising World. It's really pretty similar to the process of getting blueprints into Rising World. You download them from the forums, you paste them into the appropriate file, and you start up the game. Pretty simple, but they can make a really big difference. So I hope this was helpful. If you enjoyed the video, if it helped you out, please be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe for more. If there's any other tips and tricks videos that you would like to see, leave a comment down below and have a great day. I'll see you next time.